in this video, I'm going to share a little bit about my personal story with tinnitus and having lived with tinnitus for 15 years nearly by now. It's the first video since I've been back. I was on holiday in Colombia. My wife is from Colombia and we were visiting my in-laws, having a great time in the coffee spaces and also at the beach and the coast. And Colombia really is a very beautiful country and I really do enjoy myself every time I go there, but I also find myself really being happy to be back. And today in this video, I'm going to talk you uh, through uh, you a little bit about my uh, struggle with tinnitus and how it came about so that you can understand more of how I became a tinnitus coach and how and why I help people with habituating to their tinnitus by now. Yeah, my name is Frida. I am turning 33 years this old this year and um, I live in Berlin in Germany. I was born in uh, Freiburg in the very south of Germany and I was actually born with one deaf ear. So my left ear was basically from birth, was um, always not functioning and my mom found out after a few years when I told her while using the telephone, mom, but I don't hear anything here, right? So that's kind of the way they found out, okay, I already have one functioning ear, but that was always working pretty well until I started going uh, clubbing a lot in my teenage years and going to a lot of uh, different clubs and exposing myself to loud mu music. And um, I remember it was pretty much when I turned 19 that I woke up in the morning and I had this faint ringing in my right ear. Um, which, of course, fast forward uh, 15 years later, I have this uh, hearing aid, a high-pitched tinnitus, and um, and uh, uh, my hearing uh, health has deteriorated even on the one remaining ear. Um, and I can tell you, um, I had to sort of habituate multiple times to my tinnitus. The first time when I was 19, it uh, didn't seem to bother me too much, especially because I only heard it at night or when it was really quiet. And then a few years later though, I made my uh, condition a lot worse with going to a very loud noise event to a party and not taking care of my hearing properly. Um, and then basically um, only with a combination of the hearing aid did I get a little bit better because the hearing aid was just enabling me to hear more and then hear my tinnitus less. But then at that time, I remember I was writing my bachelor thesis and you can also uh, listen to that on my podcast. I share that in episode number one of my podcast, I share the big difficulties that I had in um, 2024 when I basically had to rehabituate to my tinnitus after having already had tinnitus for about five years um, and then having to rehabituate to my tinnitus because it had gotten so much progressively louder and writing my thesis at the time and dealing with a lot of other things that life throws at you. Um, so then I want to tell you that Already a couple of years later, after I had that bad experience, I started this YouTube channel and I just wanted to make ASMR videos for people with tinnitus. So I wanted to make these soft spoken videos. If you type in ASMR, uh, you will hear all kinds of different sort of videos, etc., cetera, um, that will sort of like just make you relax and chill. And I wanted to do that for people with tinnitus. Um, but I sort of, because of studying and so many other things, didn't really get into it until only four or five years ago, I started re sort of getting into the idea. And then I started working as a tinnitus coach and designing my own individual coaching program based on some cognitive behavior therapy aspects, but also much more important and I think valuable acceptance and commitment aspects to help your brain getting used to tinnitus and not tagging tinnitus as something such dangerous. And therefore your tinnitus can go more and more into the background and you can learn how to habituate. So I basically habituated just out of chance myself, basically, just because there was nothing else. I didn't have any kind of mechanisms or anything that um, really at the time was there. So no coachings, no, no nothing that would help me strategically learn to habituate and to understand what kind of my obstacles were in learning to re-relate to my tinnitus. But ever since I've worked with pretty much a few hundred individuals all over the world right now, uh, building also a community. Uh, by the way, if you wanna check those out, there's a lot of links in the description below, for example, for my free guide to Genesis, as well as a link to a free discovery call with me and a link for a free trial to our community for two weeks. So if you wanna check any of those resources out, 
they'll be in the description below. I'm happy if you subscribe to the channel and sometimes I manage to publish uh, uh, videos more frequently and sometimes less frequently, right? As life happens. But anyway, so I sort of got into habituation and I thought there must be a strategic process to do this. And although I have struggled with tinnitus quite a lot, or no, actually because I have struggled with tinnitus quite a lot, I see the pain and the despair many people are in because of tinnitus. And even though I still experience tinnitus together with my hearing aid, and of course, as soon as I take the hearing aid out, the tinnitus sort of just blares away because then it's just one deaf ear and one not so well hearing ear anymore and just the tinnitus blaring away. But actually, since I'm completely habituated to it by now, I'm perfectly fine with that. Yeah, so I can live my life. I can work with people and be reminded of tinnitus all the time, but it doesn't bother me. And my personal story is of course a lot more sort of from a hearing perspective advanced than what many of you would experience in terms of hearing loss. But I would say that absolutely I've gone through all the different stages that you might experience when you find yourself dealing with tinnitus first. So for, the, for example, the very first thing, going to the ENT and the ENT explaining to me what tinnitus actually was, but also explaining to me that there was not really much that you could do about um, that experience of tinnitus apart from really protecting your hearing. And then of course, all these thoughts about being guilty of not having been able to take care properly of my hearing and not really sort of like not really watching out enough for myself and not advocating enough for myself. You know, all these feelings of shame and guilt not only coming up once, but like maybe even twice because of, um, especially what I experienced then when I had to rehabituate after a couple of years when uh, my tinnitus got louder. I There was a, a, a very nice night in Amsterdam on uh, King's Day back then, and it was a lot of beer involved. And eventually I think my, uh, my earplug fell out when I was dancing in front of the speaker. Very stupid, very stupid, but it happened and I couldn't change it anymore. Just caused me a lot of, a lot of despair, a great deal of difficulty. And um, it made it very difficult for me to uh, to go through that period of time. Um, I remember that when I was uh, writing the bachelor paper, I had trouble sleeping, etc., And it was really difficult for me for about half a year. And eventually I rehabituated though. And I think it is of benefit that I had done it before, that I had habituated to tinnitus before. But I also learned that this re-relating to tinnitus is something that's possible for everyone. And I wanna share this outside. I have two hypotheses. If you're human and if you have a brain, then you will be able to habituate. And I 100% believe that, and I have very good proof that most of the people I work with, most of the people in the community, at some point, they do manage to habituate. You are on your individual trajectory, but you will manage this tinnitus. You will manage to habituate and you will get better with your tinnitus. And if I can do it, and if I have done it with literally one deaf ear and one ear where I have that hearing aid, the high pitch ringing, and the other difficulties, then you will also be able to do it. So don't let yourself get down. Don't let yourself be convinced by the people who say you cannot habituate your tinnitus because you actually absolutely can if you have a brain and if you're human, you can habituate your tinnitus. And that is my statement for today. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. And um, I just wanna advertise uh, the links in the, in the description below. Um, come and join us um, for a free trial in our community. Um, send me an email, book a discovery call, and we see how we help you individually with habituating to your tinnitus. And I'll be super happy and glad to help you wherever I can. My name is Frieda, I'm 33 years old, nearly from Berlin and Germany, and I am your personal tinnitus habituation coach. Wishing you all the best, a good weekend, and see you in next week's tinnitus YouTube video.